What's up, y'all? I'm Anthony. You're watching the PA News Network right here on Adana, the PA's YouTube channel, where every single week we bring you the latest and greatest PA and healthcare related news and content. So come back every single Tuesday, hit that subscribe button, and uh, get your news on. If you if you that squeamish type, you know, you don't like digging into people's bodies and cuttings and blood and bubbles and boogies and guts and doo-doo and all that stuff. If you don't like that stuff, then this video is for you. Did you know that you can actually virtually dissect a human being? And I'm talking about this thing is sick. It ain't like freaking Nintendo Switch or PlayStation, nothing like that. This thing is some high tech, high quality stuff. You do not want to miss this. Adana had a chance to get a personal tour of this device. It's not even a device, it's like a big old freaking machine. Anyway, Adana got a personal tour, so you guys are gonna get an exclusive personal tour of this machine right now. Wow, that's okay. so cool. So much. I mean, not for the patient, but yeah, So wait, what is this again? It's a gunshot wound right yeah. here. So this is a CT scan. Um, so any any imaging that's in DICOM format, in a DICOM format, you can upload it and it renders this 3D model. So there's the exit line, the up, entry and exit. That's crazy. Yeah, and with any of these 3D scans, 3D models, I mean, you could. You could dissect them as well, so if you wanted to see. Does it pull in the soft tissue to show you what structures were affected? affected yeah, so with this scroll bar here. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously with uh, CT scans, it'll be less soft tissue, but if you had an MRI, it'd be a lot more soft tissue. Mm -hmm. um, so really you can't see too much, you know, of the tissue affected. Um, it's kind of just, excuse yeah. me, sorry. I was <laughs> Um, but with the MRI is definitely, with the MRI you can see, you know, brain. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, we have several cases too. Could you do, can we see the, the full body thing again? Yeah. Oh, I missed it. The full body also has several unique features. We have some blood flow with veins or arteries as well. And if you click that uh, blood flow tool again one more time, it'll highlight the entire pathway. Okay. And you click it one more time, and I'll give you some of the annotations here. Kind of get a better understanding of you know what ultimately led to her passing. So if I go back into this a little bit, you'll notice that there's some thickening of the tissue around the duodenum. So the cancer blocked passage of fluid through the small intestine. So they actually came in to do a surgery, and they what they did is they opened up the stomach and went to the proximal loop of the small intestine and created a GI fistula to allow the passage of fluid from the stomach to the small intestine kind of bypassing the normal route that it would have taken. And so this is a you know, common surgery if cancer develops like that, but ultimately that's not what led to their passing. You cannot tell me that is not the dopest thing you ever seen in your life! What? What in the world is that? You see the veins and the, the blood movements and the muscles and the bones. You see the, the, the skull and the fractures that happen and all kinds of, yo! What? Now that machine for me, cause I ain't, I ain't, I can't do the real cutting into people thing and all that stuff. That's not my gift. That's not my call in life. Technology just continues to impress me every single day, you guys. There are some PA schools who are actually using this machine here. So if you're one of those schools, man, good job. And you guys, please do not take these things for granted, okay? Technology, we are living in an era right now where technology is just completely changing the way that medicine and healthcare is done. So enjoy it. If you guys want to learn more about this machine, I'll leave a link in the description box below. And today's social media shout out of the week goes to Bill. Check Sarah out, man, right there on IG. She is a pre-PA student. However, the girl just got accepted to a PA school program. Woo -hoo, woo. Go ahead, girl. Congratulations. And uh, go ahead and hit her up, man. Give her some love. Show her some congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to check back every single Tuesday for the latest and greatest PA and healthcare related news and content. I'm out. Peace.